What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and this time we're going to be talking about speed. You know, gotta go fast. Let's blast through with sonic speed. The flash. Or that weird noise Boomstick made in Flash vs. Quicksilver. Whatever. Anyways, the first thing I want to talk about is reaction speed when you're in a vehicle. Because oddly enough, I've seen tons of people say that just because you drive something at a certain speed doesn't mean your reaction time is the same speed. But yes, it does. When you're driving towards something at a certain speed, that certain something is coming at you at that same speed, meaning you need to be able to react to it in order to navigate around it. Now, of course, there is such thing as path prediction. For example, if you're driving towards something at 45 miles per hour and you see it 200 feet away from you, you're still going to have at least 3 seconds to react since 45 miles per hour is 66 feet per second. You'd have more than enough time to see it coming and be able to move around it in no time, thus not counting it as your reaction time. But I mean, if a character is able to manually pilot something that can travel the speed of light, don't you think it'd make sense for their reaction timing to be the same? Light travels at over 900,000 feet per second, so even if they saw an object coming from 5,000 feet away, they'd have less than a thousandth of a second to react to it. That's how characters like Mario were able to cheat their way around being trillions of times faster than Sonic. Starship Mario, man. It's crazy fast. But speaking of light speed, on to the next topic. Calculations over everything. If something doesn't look fast on screen, it probably still is fast. Like, let's say there's this white ninja holding a cup of coffee and then a bunch of red ninjas come in and try to kill him. He drops his cup of coffee, then kills all the ninjas before his cup of coffee hits the ground. But the whole scene ends up taking like 30 seconds. Obviously it doesn't take a cup of coffee 30 seconds to hit the ground, so you have to calculate how long it actually does take a cup of coffee to hit the ground, along with all the movements the ninja made in that time to find out his speed. It doesn't matter if it took 30 seconds on screen visually, if the calculation's right, then there's your speed. But if you really want to fight that one, think about it. The human eye can't see anything past Mach 11, so if a character's moving fast but we can still see them, then obviously they're going under Mach 11, right? Goku's not Mach 11, Superman's under Mach 11. See the problem? No characters would be faster than light either, since in reality, nothing can ever go faster than the speed of light. And even if they could, we still shouldn't be able to see them since our vision is dependent on light reaching our pupils, and well, if they're faster than light, that's pretty self-explanatory. So if we were still able to see them on screen with their feet, they obviously wouldn't be faster than light either. This is why calculations go over visuals every time. Animators rarely go into scenes thinking that they should make it as scientifically accurate as possible, which is why calculations are needed instead of just looking at it and going, well, this isn't possible, so therefore it is this. Anyways, that's my two cents on the subject of speed. Apply this to your versus stuff, kids. Ba ba da ba da da.